Alright, this time I will create a 3D title animation of circling a mountain peak. As usual we create a new fusion composition and open it in the fusion page. Drag the mountain image to the node editor, connect it to the media out. Press shift space to bring up the tool selection pop-up, find the delta keyer, add to the node editor, Go to the inspector, drag the eyedropper and hover over the sky, release the eyedropper when you see the best result. There are still some clouds here, drag the eyedropper and move over the clouds, releasing it when it's done. Let's hide the media pool for now, and enable dual viewer mode, show the delta keyer node in the left view, you can also press 1 or drag it to the viewer. Change to view the alpha channel, there are still many gray areas. Delta Keyer has many parameters we can adjust to improve the keys. But for our case here, we go to the Matte tab, maximize the value of clean foreground, adjust the threshold high and low slider, and we got a pretty good result. We now change back to the color view for later use. Next we add the image to a 3D scene. Select the Delta Keyer node, click the Image Plane 3D icon in the toolbar. The new node is connected the delta keyer node, but not the media out, disconnect the media out, add a renderer 3D node from the toolbar, link it to media out, this 2D image is now placed into a 3D space. Show the image plane 3D node in the left viewer, it switches to a 3D viewer, which lets you pan, zoom and rotate the scene in 3 dimensions. And I found these mouse button combos are very intuitive and easy to use, especially with a vertical mouse. While the image plane 3D node is still selected, click the text 3D icon in the toolbar, a merge 3D node and a text 3D node are added and connected automatically. Edit the text, we put Great Mountain as an example, change the size and tracking as needed. Load the merge 3D to the left viewer, select text 3D node. Move the text to front of the image for easy result viewing on the right viewer. Adjust the text extrusion to give it a 3D look, but still you don't see much of 3D. Change the text color to orange for this demo, still not much 3D look. Because there is no lighting on the scene yet. Select the render 3D node, go to the inspector and enable lighting and shadows. And now everything is dark. In the nodes editor, select the merge 3D, press shift space, add the directional light to the scene, adjust the intensity and angle of the light for best result. Once we're done with directional light changes, go to the node editor, select the spot light from the toolbar, which is the only light that can cast shadows. Adjust the light position, cone angle so that it covers the entire image, in the Transform tab, enable Use Target option, which will lock the target position and make light position adjustment much easier. Change the light position so that we can have the shadow casted on the mountain, but the edge of shadows are not smooth. Go back to the Inspector, open the Shadows section, change the softness to Variable, adjust the filter size, increase the shadow map size, play with these settings to have the best shadow effect as you want. We can also change the text 3D look by adjusting the parameters in the extrusion section, like extrusion depth, bevel controls etc. Next step is to animate the text, so that it circles around the mountain. To do this, we go to the layout tab of the text node, change the layout type to path. On the viewer, the cursor changes to a plus sign, we can start drawing the path. Since it's a simple loop, I just added 4 points, closed the loop and smoothed the path. Change the value of position on path, the text moves along the path, but not horizontally as we need. Go to the 3D viewer, change to rotate mode, spin the text down by 90 degrees. We can also do this in the transform tab. In the layout tab, change the position, the text is moving along the expected path, but all letters are lying flat. To correct this, go to the first transform tab, rotate the text by 90 degrees. Since the text is moving along the path, its position is changed, 
We need to adjust the spotlight position to ensure shadows are properly casted to the mountain. We are almost there, move the playhead to the first frame, change the position on path to zero, which is the start of the path, and add the keyframe. Move the playhead to the end of the clip, frame 149, change the position to 1.0, the end of the path. Play the clip, you now have the 3D text circling with shadows casted to the mountain. We can also smooth the keyframes, so that text slows down while it's moving in front of the mountain. One last thing, the output is not taking the full frame size, select Merge 3D node, go to the Transform tab, change the translation Z value so that the mountain takes the full width of the frame. Finally, create a timeline, drag the mountain image to timeline, add the fusion composition on top of the image. Wait until the cache is fully rendered, play the timeline, and that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.